A lot of adversity this year. Um, we had some injuries, had some great problems early on, um, some illnesses. Um, my wife had breast cancer, oh, um, no. diagnosed with breast cancer beginning of this month, so she was battling that. Everything's going good with her, thank God for that. Um, and the kids and the coaching staff, we just rallied behind all the adversity, honestly. Knowing that at the end, if we could put everybody back on the mat and get them healthy, that we really posed probably one of the tougher lineups in D4. We didn't get a seed because of some of the things that happened, I think, earlier on in the year. And I don't think they really took into play that I was wrestling without three number one kids in the state. Mm -hmm. You throw them into the mix, you know, those are 15, 20 point swings, you know? Yeah. Uh, do you think uh, your team maybe felt a little bit underappreciated? Oh, we were here? very, we felt very disrespectful. I'm not, we felt disrespected, and there's no two ways about it. We weren't mad by any means. We just really wanted to prove a point. And, you, you know, it, you know, you see it with the Patriots and Tom Brady and Belichick sometimes, you know, people almost want them to lose. And I know that that's where it gets after a while. But at the same sense, these are just 16 and 17 year old kids. They don't know any different. They're just working hard every day, doing what coach tells them, dieting and cutting weight and running. So when they walk into an arena and, you know, 6,000 people would just as soon see them lose as anybody. You got to teach them how to fight through those adversities and understand that, you know, people don't want to root for the guy that's always won. They want to root for the underdog, you know? Mm -hmm. So they felt that a little bit today. That was kind of cool.